Welcome to Singer. This place is amazing and they don't let people in here to film very often. So I want to give you a guided tour and show you how they turn one of these into one of those. Singer has been restoring old 964 generation Porsche 911s for over a decade and has been so successful that they have now rebuilt close to 250 cars, with orders for a further 450 on the books as well. And that's meant a recent move into this new 115,000 square foot premises in Torrance, south of Los Angeles. I met up with Mazan Fawaz, the CEO. Hey Maz, how are you doing? Hello Ali. Nice Welcome. to see you. How are you this doing? place is amazing. It is amazing. The scale of it is what blows me away, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Still moving in. Yeah. yeah. So can we go and have a look around? I want Absolutely. you to, let's walk, can we walk down this way? I'm assuming these are cars that are ready to go out. And these are ready to go out, yeah. Yeah. So we're getting back towards the car we, I've just done an introduction with and an old C4, a 1989 car. Mm -hmm. Is this roughly how the, mo the condition of most of them are when they come in? Uh, this, is, this is a particularly nice one. Really? I thought you'd like to see a... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're uh, not so nice. As long as they haven't been uh, in any heavy accident, we can handle everything else. Yeah. Right. Okay. So when a car comes in like that, where do you, what, what happens to it? Where do you start? Uh, well, so we disassemble it. Uh, yeah. We do that offsite because it's, it's very, very dirty. It's, yeah. you know, 30 years of oil and muck and leaves and other things yeah. in there. So we disassemble yeah. it offsite. We uh, media blast everything. So we take all of that off and then we ship it here for yeah. Reassembly. Right. Well, where do, you, where do you start? Where's that process start? All the way in the... In the far corner. Yeah. <laughs> this is just such a cool place to walk around. I mean, it's a DLS just here. Now, those are obviously built in the UK, aren't they? They're the DLSs. The and then uh, uh, if, they, if they're coming to the US, yep. they'll get, they'll get uh, unwrapped here. Yep. And the customer will often come and, you know, drive it around. Yeah. Uh, drive it around the area. Uh, and then we'll ship it out to yeah. wherever they are in the, in the US. Wow. And here we've got more cars under covers. Yeah. Are these, this these is, are existing cars, these are These are, these are after sales. So right. if something needs service, uh, oil change, tires, yep. uh, whatever. Sometimes a, an upgrade, someone wants yeah. to change. Change a 3.8 to a four liter. Oh, we've had color changes. We've had oh, really? engine changes. So full dismantling and yeah. start again. And yep. wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like we're getting down to more sort of parts and things down mm -hmm. here. Look, there's a load of wishbones and stuff. These are original parts that are being cleaned up and made ready, I guess. This has been inspected, cleaned, crack tested, yeah. and coated. Yeah. It starts life about uh, like that. Wow. That's not, a, that's not uncommon. That's pretty much how So that's, how, that's an original part that's just come off a car and then will go off and be turned into that's right. that, just improved and cleaned and yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, it's quite a lot of dirt around, yeah. isn't there? Now you can imagine a whole car coming apart like that. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a dirty process. So you've got a lot of stuff on racks and things at the moment, but I'm guessing over time the, the facility is going to come together and have this proper... The, the yeah. entire parts department will have a, a wall built around it. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a slow process going through permitting and, yeah. and, uh, and, and, and all of that uh, admin, mm. um, but the racks will be higher and yeah. we'll get a little more formalized. So this is uh, sub-assembly, so he'll carefully yeah. build up a, a trailing arm, yep. torque check everything. Everything obviously is new, bushings, bearings, fasteners. That's all uh, new, but it's just the main components. That's right. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah and refurbished. It will go and and uh, be applied to the car when it's finished. Yeah. Until now, all singers have been painted by a third party, but with plenty of space in the new premises, Singer has installed its own paint shop. The car you see here is the very first to be painted on site, but simply getting the bodywork ready is a time-consuming and laborious process. Not that I can do it, but yeah. painting a car is the easy part. Getting a perfect surface yeah. takes a lot of time. So the cars are stripped back to chassis. That's right. Then the carbon bodies are put on. That's right. But those carbon panels don't come perfect, or they... Here, I'll show yeah. you this. In order to create a perfect gap, yep. they're, they're slightly oversized. Right. And the gap is then done by hand across the whole uh, car. 
So wow. the only way we can get it absolutely perfect, it's all done by hand by, by these craftsmen. Wow. And it it's unavoidably takes a lot yeah. of time. The, the tolerance is zero. Yeah. It has to be perfect yeah, or it yeah. doesn't go. Once they create a perfect surface, and I think we have some over here, yeah. then the car is you know, relatively easy to paint. Yeah. If you have a surface that has issues or problems, it comes right through the paint. Yeah. Carbon can have a, a pinhole or a bump. Maybe in yeah. motorsports, you know, kind of You wouldn't worry cares. about it. We yeah. make it perfect. Yeah. And all by hand. Obviously, that can't be automated. The sheer variety of options and choices that Singer offers is staggering. The aim being to work hand in hand with every customer to create something truly bespoke. And not just on the outside. The interiors are also produced here, painstakingly made by Singer's expert craftsmen and women. Oh, so it's all leather works and That's right. things. I've always been fascinated by the, um, the, mater yeah, the materials and the combinations right. and the we of the weaving especially. Yeah. And, and you do all of that here, do you? We do all of that here. Yeah. Um, we have a fabulous team that works with the customer to create their, their specification. Yeah. That can take days or months. Yeah. Um, and people come back, I guess, and go, actually, I've had a rethink right. on this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes they want to develop something very bespoke. You can take yeah. a look at um, oh wow! This is a this is a weave that the that the client and our team designed. Right. And you can imagine it could be dizzying picking, you know, which leathers and which colors are going to go. Yeah, in, yeah. In what order? Wow! Yeah. So they can choose the colors, and then you can just do various mock-ups for how the colors work right. together. And and some of wow. them, as you can imagine, are designed to look like. If you look at that from a distance, it might look like a tartan, like a fabric. Yeah. And then when you get up close, you see that it's woven leather. Yeah. Some of them are very deliberately designed that way, and some are just, you know, stripes and other, yeah. other things. These yeah. truly are craftsmen. You know, it takes years and years and years of muscle memory. And expertise, and, knowing how the leather wa works. Absolutely. And, yeah, leathers yeah. are all different thicknesses, and yeah. they have different, you know, sort of, they stretch differently. Mm. And so everyone essentially is a project, yeah. right? Fascinating to watch. Yeah. And then here you've got the things like the, the roll cage with the stitch roll cage. Yeah, and that's one that's one continuous stitch. One no, continuous no stitch. Yeah, so you can't get it wrong. <laughs> you have to well, yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. Thing, that right? would not be good, would it? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Imagine getting it right. That's you need someone who really knows what they're doing, don't that's you? Right. That's and beautiful. they practice many, many times. That's yeah, what's yeah. fascinating is is no matter what, everyone just continues to get better yeah. at what they do when you repeat it in you know, such an organized way. Yeah. So where do you go once you've gone through a bit of interior trimming? So into so, what we call general assembly. Okay. Um, it's really kind yeah. of reassembly of the car. Yeah. And you start with this painted shell that will have a headliner in it, sound deadening, and then it'll go into the process to get sub-assemblies and components attached to the yeah. car. So some of what you, I'm guessing then the car just does a loop sort of around That's right. this yeah. area. Up, up that way Yeah. and through, we can obviously so yeah, here's a car in early stages of That's right. assembly. And some of the first, yeah. you know, you'll have things like wire harnessing and things that will go in first. Yep. Obviously, because everything will stack on top of that. Yeah. You'll see uh, um, that that material is sound deadening that goes mm. under uh, the floor. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I've seen there's a lot of people in groups sort of standing around discussing things. Is that because every car is slightly different and every car that... every car is slightly different. And yeah. um, a lot of systems are installed at the same time. So you'll have folks in upholstery, electrics, and they yeah. have to coordinate to, you know, fettle some things and move yeah. some things around. Yeah. And There'll does a lot of that happen if you've got people who want the special wishes for things? Is, there, is that a lot of this is people I mean, talking have, about various? That's right. We have some special wishes where you have a very unusual material or, yeah. uh, or finish. When you have uh, multiple systems being installed at the same time, there's, yeah. there's different expertise that comes in kind of all at the same time. Just to help. Car yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's not a new car factory, so. No. They're all a little different. Yeah, what else we got going on down here? So we have some cars that are in, in the later stages of build. Mm. Engines have yeah. been installed. Uh, powertrains have been installed. Yeah. They'll eventually go uh, get an alignment and go out for, for road testing. Right, DLS. Yep. Can we start it up and have a quick listen? Yeah, why not? Because I, I this is a bit of a special engine. <laughs> That's such a cracking reminder of the work you do here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard not to love this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a bit of kit. Well, I think we've done about a full lap now, haven't we? We've uh, come... We have. 
But in terms of the dynamic work you do to the car, they are still a fairly original 911. You'll do, obviously you fit springs, dampers, That's right. and you change the sort of bushing, all the bushings is new. So That's it drives, right. I guess, better, you'd say better than an original well, car we, from the period. We have spent you know, countless hours developing um, bushing durometers, um, different bearings, yeah. dampers, springs. You know, we have been able to test and tune and really develop over time. Um, kind of the perfect hot rod. Right? Yeah. That's really what it is. And then the, uh, our, our turbo will be built here. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Starting this year, actually, we've, be we've begun the first three of them. Yeah. So when, when Singer started, did you ever envisage that it would end up at this sort of scale of things? No. 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 Oh, my goodness, no. No, yeah. it, it's always taken us by surprise. I yeah. mean, Rob's vision for the car mm. is... Uh, we you kind of knew this was going to go somewhere. Where yeah. wasn't particularly clear, but it yeah. was, it was uh, captivating, absolutely. Yeah. And it seems like it's captivated a bunch of customers. So much so that Singer has now announced it will cap sales of its classic model at 450, helping guarantee their future values and instead start on its turbo restorations, a car they already have over 200 orders for. Safe to say the team at Singer never saw this success coming. It has taken us by surprise and it's, yeah. it's absolutely, uh, it's like I said, it's kind of a fantasy yeah. to do this every day and to have this group of people who, are, everyone is equally as passionate as we are. Yeah. It's super, it's like a bunch of car geeks showing up <laughs> yeah. to work every day. So if I wanted to, if I was in the fortunate position of being able to buy one then, what would I be looking at waiting now for a car? Now we're out to end of 2027. End of 27. <laughs> That's a good business model to have, isn't it? It's, it's a nice uh, problem it's, to have. It's good. Yeah, we, we focus on you know, we focus on quality and execution. Yeah. Um, sales are not our problem at yeah. the moment. So it's really it's really delivery of something that is a jewel. Yeah. You know, time and time again. Yeah. Fantastic, Maz. Thank you so much. Of course. That's good been to have you. so interesting. Anytime. Cheers. Yeah. Worth the five-year wait? In my experience of spending two days razzing around Wales in the DLS, absolutely.